As I was getting ready to go to the gym, I read a comment on my Facebook video that really triggered me. And I want to share uh, the experience and the insights that I learned from this and give you an analogy that when you get the lesson behind the analogy, you're never really going to be able to see life the same again. For 99% of you, because there's always that 1% who just doesn't get it. And that's cool. But what happened was I was getting ready and I took out my phone and I was reading on my business page the video where I posted about how I'm gonna make a video a day for 90 days and if I don't follow through, I'm gonna be uh, shaving off my eyebrows and my hair off to make sure that I fall through because if I don't, then it's gonna equal an, a, massive, a, a massive amount of pain and then when I do follow through, I'm taking a trip to Bali, okay? So I was reading the comments and somebody said, shaving off your eyebrows and hair is gonna cause you zero pain, right? And what happened was I became so attached to my view, my perspective on the situation because for me, it is going to cause me pain but then somebody went against my view and then it triggered me. It made me a little bit angry because they weren't seeing what I was seeing. And I'm sure you're a human being just like everybody else and there's times where you have an idea and somebody else goes against that idea or you have a perspective on something and somebody else thinks that's wrong or somebody else thinks something different and then you get angry. You get triggered. And what we need to realize is that there are three, three, there are three truths. There is your truth, there is my truth, and then there is the truth. And the truth is that everything is always neutral and it is your label that you put on the experience that then becomes the experience. Because your truth and my truth is all subjective. Right and wrong is all subjective. Now there's universal laws that is right and wrong, right? Gravity, that's right. But then there's human concepts, moral judgments of what we place of what is something, what is right and what is wrong. And then when somebody goes against that, we need to become aware that it is their truth. It is their experience. Because what that is like when you get attached to it and you get attached to your viewpoint and you don't question what you think you know, which is everything. Questioning what you think you know. Socrates once said that the only thing that I know is that I know nothing. White belt mentality. You come into every situation, I don't know anything. Teach me. I don't know anything, everything is always neutral. So what that's like, when you have a certain perspective and you're not questioning anything, you have blindness. And what happens is, this is kind of like you having a certain viewpoint on life, of what is healthy, of what is right, of what is wrong. And then when you get attached to this, you don't see that, hey, I may be seeing something differently. You may be seeing blindness, but the other person may be seeing something totally different. There are two sides. There is your truth. There is my truth. And then there is the truth. And the truth is that everything is this. And then when you put the label on the experience, now it's kind of like me typing words on a piece of paper, and then what I, the meaning that I put on that event is now on that piece of paper. But the very second that you question something, now it's kind of like backspacing, backspacing, taking away all those words that was on that piece of paper, and then you see that everything is neutral. Because there is the truth. And it is your label that you put on the experience that then becomes the experience. So I just want to share that because what I learned from that is I had to go, cool, that person may be just seeing, that for them, it may not be painful for them to shave off their eyebrows and to shave off their hair because they may not give a shit what people think. But for me, I'm still working through caring what people think and that is painful for me to shave my hair and my eyebrows off. But for them, it may not be. I have to remember and, and constantly remember that everything is always subjective that there's always a different side to, to your perspective. And to question, for me, to question what I think I know. Because the very second that I get attached to an idea, I cut off the perspective that other people could have. I just wanted to share this quick video and I really hope this helped you out. Uh, comment, share, subscribe if you're on my YouTube channel and until I see you in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself. Whew.